Good evening, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stockswish.com, and welcome. Welcome to a spy review. I thought I'd review the market here today to see how we closed. We actually did get to the first target and almost to the second target in the market today. 208.60, 65 was the first target. We got past that. Second target was 209, and we got within 20 cents of that before 2 o'clock. And we just ran out of steam here in the day. But we actually did get almost to the second target in the market today, and we did get to the first one. And that, again, is a confirmation of the strength that is in the market. Let me just see who we are. We're just flat here after hours. So let's take a look at it. I did say the market would hold today, and I did say the market would rally, and it did hold, and it did rally, and it looks good. So I don't know where we gap tomorrow morning, but neutral gap is bullish, up gap is bullish, down gap is bullish. I see nothing that's not bullish here for tomorrow. <laughs> Actually, now that I'm just now that I'm just looking at this here, of course I said this a million days, but it is true. And I'm sure a lot of people think the market's lower because of the bar from Friday, but I did say in the video this morning that I did on the market in the QQQs that I didn't think the market was lower today, and I still didn't think we'd go anywhere deep. And we just had one red bar, that's it. And it was a bearish gap down. I mean, this was a gap down that happened in the spy. But I don't see any follow through in this. Again, how do I know? I have a rating system that I use to rate gaps. You can use it for ETFs. You can use it for stocks. I prefer to do stocks, but I do look at the market every day. This is actually really nice here now that I'm looking at this. I just saw something that was perfect. <laughs> yep, we're going to hold here. 215 is the next target. 215 is the next target of the SPY, and we are going to hold here. But I know a lot of people think we're going to pull in deep. Not going to happen. Unless we gap down crazy like, which I still don't see happening, and I just don't see that happening. So I we're going to hold here. That's the call. And tomorrow is going to be bullish. That's the call, too. Depending on where we gap, we'll determine if tomorrow is extremely bullish or small bullish or medium bullish. In other words, the placement of the gap in the morning will determine exactly the bullishness on the day. So I don't know if you'll be able to buy the market intraday tomorrow, but I'm just saying it is setting up like it's going to be bullish no matter what it does here for, for this current read here, where we are, where we close today and tonight's information here at 530. Somebody had asked me recently or had a question about why do I teach my method on gaps if I'm making money trading? I have that question a lot. I just think that's the silliest question I've ever heard. And I still hear from people. So what I've decided to do is answer the question in this video. And then uh, I'll just refer people to this video. Because I want to make a lot of money, and I always want to make a lot of money, and you really can't ever not make too much money. How about that for the answer? It's like such a silly question that I don't even know why people actually ask it. When I'm a billionaire, will I still want to make more money? The answer is yes. So when people ask me that question, I know I can tell a lot about them from where they're at with their own current financial positioning. And it tells me more about the person that asks it, actually, than and anything else. So I decided I wanted to trade the market because I wanted to make a lot of money. And before I traded the market, in my prior career, I wanted to make a lot of money. I'm a driven, ambitious woman. That is one of the reasons why I'm extremely successful. And it is a ridiculous question to ask uh, why I would teach my class information to anyone if I'm making money trading, which I am. It is because I want to make gobs and gobs and gobs and gobs of money. And I will always want to make gobs of money. And I have always wanted to make gobs of money. And when I become a billionaire, I will want to continue to make more money. So, you know, this is common sense. And I'm doing something that I love, which, to be honest with you, a lot of people on the planet actually do jobs and have careers, and they don't love what they do. I happen to be very lucky because I actually found something that, number one, I'm good at. And number two, I enjoy it. I actually enjoy teaching the class. I enjoy talking about my trades. I enjoy doing videos like I'm doing right now or I'm be doing it at 530 at night. And I enjoy trading as well. I just don't trade that long because I'm only in trades so quick in the morning. So I have time to do other stuff. 
It'd be different if I worked a job where I had to trade for eight hours a day, but I'm so lucky because the strategy that I train actually I don't have to be in it that long. Now, there are some days you could trade stuff in the afternoon, but I prefer to be done in the morning. And I usually am most of the days. And I actually think that's where all the money is in the market, is in that morning, unless you're going to do overnights and hold for longer term trades like swing or four trades, in which case you could do that, but you're still not sitting watching your swing trade till four o'clock every day. So day trading is about chunking it out. You make the money and you're quickly done. So you could do other things with your life, whether you want to go out and spend time with your family or something else, or if you have another career, or go out and exercise, work out, help people in society, do some charitable work. There's lots of other things you could do if you want to be productive with your life. Sitting and staring at the market all day as a day trader to 4 o'clock is just a waste of time. Most of the moves that happen in the mark happen early in the morning, quickly, 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 and that's it. So I will always uh, be one of those types of day traders that likes to trade in the morning and be done. Anyways, getting back to what I was saying, I teach a class uh, for the purpose of sharing my information with the world, which people should be grateful for. And actually, my students are grateful for that. Uh, luckily, they do see the value in what I've taught them because they've taken the class and they've seen it work and they're making money trading with me live. But when people ask me that, it's because I want to make more money. And just because someone is teaching a class doesn't mean they're not making money trading. I know there's a lot of educators out there that are teaching classes that are not profitable traders, but that's not me. I am, again, one of these very unique individuals where I have a gift in the sense that I can trade very well and I also have an extreme amount of talent and skill set to communicate well with people and teach as well. So I'm a very well-rounded woman and I'm a good businesswoman too. So I have a lot of skills which is one of the reasons why I'm successful all around in my business and as a trader. So if you can find something that you love and something that you're good at, that is the best of all worlds. And I encourage people to find something that they're good at and something that they love to do for your career or your job. And if you love the market and you love trading and you're not making money, you can learn how to do it and be successful and make money. And you can reach out to me if you're interested in the class. You can take the class. If you take my Golden Gap class, you are eligible then to sign up for the live trading room. And even today, I just was just spot on picking out the perfect thing today once again and calling the market well, and I'm just extremely good at what I do. And you can learn this from me and have the advantage of being in the live room with me if you take the Golden Gap class, in which case then you are there with me when I'm trading live and you get the calls and you can do them with me and make money. It's one of the bonuses and benefits. So if you have any questions or want to sign up for the next Golden Gap class, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. It is the 21st and 22nd of March. Also, the market is very bullish. And so I will be very careful if you think it's falling off a planet. I don't see that here at all. Next target is 215, which is well over the high in the SPY. And I don't know if we get there this week. And I won't know until I see how we trade the next two days, Tuesday and Wednesday. Tomorrow looks like it's setting up to be a bullish day, medium to small. I don't think it will be extremely big, although it could be. If the market runs hard tomorrow, 210 is the target. That is the big target tomorrow in the SPY if it runs up. Otherwise, maybe target is 209, 209.25-ish. And I look for follow-through in the market higher this week, no matter what. Whether we get over the high or whether we just rally uh, continuously and nicely and smoothly. It was a very, very strong month in the month of February. I do see March setting up to be bullish too, but towards the end of the month, it looks like we might be bearish into April as far as the look of the chart right now. I won't know more until I see how we trade out this week, and then we'll see where we're going to go the last two weeks of March. Remember, second quarter earnings season is coming up. There's going to be a lot of volatility in the market this month and in the earnings season in second quarter, which will have a lot of opportunity to trade my method on gaps and trade the market in general as a day trader. you got to know what you're looking for. You have to know the right direction to take the stocks and to take the market. And you should be looking at all of these things when you make your choices and picks. So beautiful bullish market here. Not doing anything wrong. Saw something in a chart which I just realized is perfect. And I'm going to go over it in the trading room this week with everybody what I just saw here in the SPY the second I looked at it there. So I definitely have 100% conviction we hold this area. And this is a very, very perfect, perfect angelic chart here in the SPY. Any questions, email me at melissa at thestockswish.com. Have a great night, everyone.